Hello everyone. A warm welcome to all of you in today's lecture. Today we will continue with the chapter that is On the Face of It by Susan Hill. Till now in the story we have seen that Mr. Lamb and Derry who are the two main characters in this drama are both physically disabled and they have developed a friendship through the course of a long conversation so ye jo drama hai ye basically conversation hai baat cheet hai between two people that is mr lamb and the little 14 year old boy that is derry okay so these two people are both physically disabled and they have developed a friendship through the course of this conversation Mr Lamb is a very experienced and positive character in this drama who has a positive effect upon the frustrated and angry little boy Derry okay so we have seen till now how Mr Lamb is uh, radiating positivity in everything that he is speaking wo apni har baat mein positive outlook dete hain okay and it is somehow uh unknowingly influencing derry jo unke company ko bahut ab enjoy karne laga hai okay so we had paused in the last lecture on page number 67 in your book vistas and derry had run back home at this point where we had stopped and he had also promised mr lamb that he will come back uh, and help him in picking the crab apples in his garden सो so, यहाँ पे हमने पॉज किया था लास्ट लेक्चर में और यहीं से आज हम इसको स्टार्ट करेंगे नाउ द सीन हैज चेंज वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द सीन वन टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विथ सीन टू ऑन पेज नंबर सिक्सटी सेवन ओके एंड द लोकेशन ऑफ दिस सीन इज डेरीज हाउस वेर ही इज सीन टॉकिंग टू हिज मदर सो आई रीड हिज मदर इज टॉकिंग टू डेरी यू थिंक आई डोंट नो अबाउट हिम you think i haven't heard things derry you shouldn't believe all you hear mother been told warned we've not lived here 3 months but i know what there is to know and you're not to go back there so we see that derry has already told his mother about mr lamb in order to inform her about everything his mother is against derry's idea of going back to mr lamb okay and uh, what does derry tell tell her that you shouldn't believe all that you hear to ye jo line hai ye hame kya remind de reminder de rahi hai it is the same thing that mr lamb had told to derry unhone usko usko kya kaha tha you shouldn't believe everything that you hear everything that people say kyunki log jo hai wo har tarah ki baat karte hain okay kuch log achhi baatein karte hain kuch log buri baatein karte hain agar aap har cheez ko apne andar le lenge so you your mind will be a muddled up place aapke dimag mein sirf confusion hoga isliye aap logo ki baat ko suniye but kariye wo jo aapko sahi lagta hai okay don't believe in everything so he is uh, giving that same thing uh, telling the same thing to his mother when she says that she knows about uh, mr lamb and everything okay so what does derry say uh, what are you afraid of what do you think he is an old man with a tin leg and he lives in a huge house without curtains and has a garden and i want to be there and sit and listen to things listen and look so his mother says listen to what derry be singing him talking mother and what's he got to say to you derry things that matter things nobody else has ever said things i want to think about mother then you stay here and do your thinking you are best off here so derry explains to his mother that mr lamb is a completely harmless old man with whom he wants to spend more time and listen and watch and do and think about things that are positive pleasant and they, that make him feel happy and hopeful about life he craves his company because prior to his meeting with mr lamb he had encountered only negativity and frustration in life from the society so uh, derry is in his own manner trying to uh, tell his mother that uh, 
मिस्टर लैम के ऐसी बातें करते हैं वो इतनी पॉजिटिव बातें करते हैं और उनके पास से ऐसी वाइब्स आती है पॉजिटिव वाइब्स जो उसको अच्छी लगती है और इसके उनसे उनसे मिलने से पहले उसकी लाइफ में ऐसे कोई भी इंसान नहीं था जो उस तरह की बातें करे जो उसको अच्छा फील कराए ओके ही हैड ऑलवेज बीन शन बाय सोसाइटी सो डेरी इज लिटरली क्रेविंग फॉर द कंपनी ऑफ मिस्टर लैम एंड ही वॉन्ट्स टू गो बैक टू दैट प्लेस एंड गेट दैट वाइब वंस अगेन ओके but his mother is still not convinced with derry and she asks him to do all that he wants to think at home itself so what does derry say derry i hate it here mother you can't help the things you say i forgive you it's bound to make you feel bad things and say them i don't blame you okay uh, so his mother is telling him uh, telling derry that uh, इट्स ओके okay, तुम्हारी जो अभी सिचुएशन है तुम्हारे जो जिंदगी के तुम्हारे जो हालात हैं उनको देखते हुए यू आर बाउंड टू थिंक इन दिस मैनर एंड यू आर बाउंड टू हेट हेट थिंग्स एंड इट इज़ समथिंग वेरी नेचुरल फॉर हर इट इज़ अ नेचुरल बिहेवियर दैट डेरी इज शोइंग पोर्ट्रेइंग और उनको लगता है कि ये ठीक है एंड शी डजेंट ब्लेम हर सन फॉर दिस शी डजेंट ब्लेम डेरी सो शी टेल्स हिम दैट आई डोंट ब्लेम यू बिकॉज तुम्हारी ऐसी ऐसा फेस तुम्हारे बर्न है तुम्हारे साथ ये प्रॉब्लम है सो ऐसी ऐसे थाट्स हमारे दिमाग में आते हैं एंड यू वॉन्ट टू ब्रेक फ्री इट्स ऑल फाइन सो शी टेल्स ऑल दिस टू डेरी ना वॉट डज डेरी से it's got nothing to do with my face and what i look like i don't care about that and it isn't important it's what i think and feel and what i want to see and find out and hear and i'm going back there only to help him with the crab apples only to look at things and listen but i'm going uh, so his mother says you'll stop here so what does derry say Oh no oh no because i don't if i don't go back there i'll never go anywhere in this world again the door slams derry runs panting and i want the world i want it i want it and the sound of his panting fades so this is where the scene two ends so we see that derry finally realizes the things that he is speaking वो जो बोल रहा है वो क्यों बोल रहा है बिकॉज ही हैज रियलाइज एवरी थिंग ओके ही ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ हिज मीटिंग विद मिस्टर लैम एंड द कन्वर्सेशन उस बातचीत के दौरान उसे बहुत सारी चीज़ें रियलाइज हुई वी कैन वी कैन कॉल दिस एज एन एपीफेनी एपीफेनी जो होते होती है एक ऐसी ऐसी सिचुएशन एक ऐसी मोमेंट जिसमें आप चीज़ों को रियलाइज करते हैं बहुत ज़्यादा सो इट इज़ अ काइंड ऑफ एपीफेनी फॉर डेरी Uh, his meeting with mr lam uh, he is no more afraid or hesitant to speak what he feels and he clearly tells his mother that he hates being at home all the time his mother still doesn't understand him and she says that with a burned face and all the hopelessness that she associates with his derry is bound to feel bad and so she doesn't blame him now what does derry say he explains even after this that it is um, it is not at all important what he looks like he clearly explains to his mother that his burnt face no more disturbs him and it is no more important after his meeting with mr lam kyunki mr lam ne use uh, life ka asli matlab bataya hai what is life life is not about the way you look the way you uh, l- uh, आर फिजिकली ओके सो आपके फिजिकल अपियरेंस डजेंट मैटर एट ऑल बिकॉज इट इज़ समथिंग विच इज़ नॉट इन योर हैंड्स ओके हम हमने नहीं डिसाइड किया कि हम फेयर uh, होंगे या डार्क होंगे या ब्यूटिफुल या अगली और बाय द वे ये ब्यूटिफुल और अगली जो है ये सोसाइटी का डिस्क्रिप्शन है ब्यूटिफुल और अगली कुछ होता ही नहीं है बिकॉज Everything is good. Everything is beautiful because everything is God's creation. तो नेचर ने जिस जो चीज़ बनाई है हर कुछ ब्यूटिफुल है ओके सो वी शुड जस्ट टेक दिस आइडिया आउट ऑफ आर माइंड के कोई चीज़ खूबसूरत है कोई चीज़ अगली है एवरी थिंग इज़ ब्यूटिफुल इन इट्स रियालिटी ओके सो डेरी को अब ये चीज़ें समझ में आ गई हैं दैट फेस आपका कैसा है ये doesn't इट डजेंट मैटर एट ऑल सो ही सेज दैट He expresses his dormant desire, जो उसके अंदर चीज़ें थीं जो लेकिन उसने कभी उन इनके बारे में सोचा नहीं था Now he is expressing all that. He wants to see the world with his own senses, experience it and enjoy the life that he has on his own terms. So he tells his mother that he wants to go back and help Mr. Lamb with a simple 
task of picking crab apples because he is a disabled man he doesn't have one leg so he has this problem so uh, derry really wants to help him because that uh, at that place um, in his garden and the man that mr lamb is these things have soothed him they have soothed his anxiety and have touched him very deeply so ye jo pura positive impact hai he is trying to explain to his mother but his mother is uh, still not able to understand होता है ऐसा हमारे साथ भी होता है वेन वी वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लेन थिंग्स टू आर एल्डर्स वो समझ नहीं पाते हैं ओके सो इसमें हम उनको भी ब्लेम नहीं कर सकते वी ब्लेम द सिचुएशन इन विच वी वी आर ओके एंड वी ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट सम वे ऑर दी अदर ओके वी शुड नॉट लेट अदर्स रूल आवर माइंड if you if you are capable enough of thinking for yourself then you should not do things under pressure isse na aapko fayda hoga na un logon ko jo aapke upar pressure dal rahe hain so it is better to have a talk and move on uh, with the way the things you want okay so uh, similarly lamb uh, sorry dairy jo hai he is telling his mother he is informing her where he is uh, he is going or he wants to go he also gives her all the reasons okay but still his mother tells him that tum kahi nahi jaoge tum yahi rahoge you will stop over here but what does he say he just runs away from that place uh, because he and he what does he shout when he runs away he he shouts and uh, he is very much fearless now okay and he says that he wants to see the world and he wants to embrace all the opportunities that are coming his way without any more indulging in negativity any sort of negativity is no more welcomed in derry's life okay so with this the scene two comes to an end and we have seen three now uh, and once again this scene takes place in mr lamb's garden so the location says it is mr lamb's garden there are garden sounds the noise of a branch shifting apples thumping down and the branch shifting again so ye jo sounds hai ye hame kya bata rahi hai that garden mein apple picking ho rahi hai kaun pick kar raha hai more most probably it is mr lamb who has climbed the ladder and who is now picking the apples and throwing them down on the ground okay so what does mr lamb say what is he saying let's see steady that's got it uh, that's it more apples fall and again that's it and a creak a crash the ladder falls back mr lamb with it a thump the branch swishes back creaks then silence jerry opens the garden gate still panting okay so we can see that mr lamb was picking the apples and talking to his own self because generally he was alone in his house so he had this habit of talking to his own self okay and uh, when accidentally what happens the ladder jis seedhi pe wo chad ke apples tod rahe the that ladder crashes down okay and when it crashes down it brings old mr lamb with it right at this time derry enters into the garden he enters into the scene okay and through the gate this time he comes through the gate because he knows he is welcomed over there and he starts talking to mr lamb he is still panting panting means wo abhi bhi haap raha hai wo itni speed mein daud kar raha hai that he is still panting but still uh, he wants to talk to mr lamb he starts speaking what does he say you see you see i come back came back uh, you said i wouldn't and they said but i came back i wanted he stops dead silence Mr Lamb Mr you he runs through the grass stops kneels Mr Lamb it's all right you fell I'm here Mr Lamb it's all right so uh, what does Derry uh, see when he comes uh, he without seeing anything he just uh, wants to tell uh, in a very excited manner to Mr Lamb that he has finally kept his promise and he has come back and he wants to see Mr Lamb happy okay he wants to help him so when he comes closer what does he see he sees that Mr Lamb has fallen on the ground and he runs through the grass and then he kneels down wo kneel karke dekhta hai what has happened unko chot lagi hai ki kya so uh, he is telling him Mr Lamb that it's okay you fell down it's okay he is consoling him okay uh, but then there is complete silence so Mr Lamb kuch bol nahi rahe so there is complete silence then what does Derry say i came back let me lamb i did come back Jerry begins to weep. So finally, what do we see? That ये जो accident हुआ, and Mr. Lamb fell from the tree, and then he died because he is not responding. And Derry also begins to weep, and he begins to cry. So 
uh, he realizes that he is no more alive and he has ultimately uh, died so uh, with this the scene 3 also comes to an end it is a very short scene so we see that derry doesn't realize instantly just as he enters the garden wo samajh nahi pata hai that what really has happened to mr lamb and then when he sees that he has fallen he comes close and he tries to console him and get him up and help him out but when he further observes the old man he realizes that mr lamb has died and he he then starts crying so in the end mr lamb dies in this drama and he never gets to know that derry actually returned to help him he dies with the loneliness that he always wanted okay he dies with the loneliness that he always wanted to run away from so we see that uh, the drama ends on a very pessimistic and sad note it is a very sad ending indeed where a character is uh, dying uh, when we reflect on the overall plot we see how difficult life is for people who are disabled when we reflect on the overall plot of this drama we see how difficult life is for people who are disabled and who don't fit into society's mold of normal and quite often society shuns them very badly and uh, the society also shames such people okay uh, society mein aise logon ko accept nahi kiya jata hai jinke sath kuch problem hoti hai uh, physical problems or maybe some mental illness as well so society completely shuns these people it doesn't accept them as one of their kind and uh, it is the loneliness of these people that is shown in this drama okay uh, and and these people are blamed for things they are called names and they are treated very badly um, for things that are not in their control okay so if you uh, talk to someone if you blame them for things that are there in their control and which they can change so theek hai aap usko boliye but agar uske haath mein hi nahi hai wo cheez wo cheez natural hai so you don't have any right to tell anyone that this is your problem and you are not at all uh, worth it and aapki zindagi bekar hai Uh, you shouldn't come close to us you should i do, we don't enjoy your company so it is completely wrong totally wrong okay and another very important message that comes from this chapter for us is that the effect of positivity upon people's life so positivity is like a magic which makes people rise from their deepest sorrows towards achievements and success so we should always be positive in our affairs as well as with others and for others and last but not the least this drama teaches us not to judge anything by its looks but by the inner qualities okay so with this we come to the end of this text and its explanation uh, we will stop here today uh, please read the chapter by yourselves and if you have any questions please write write them down in the comments In the next lecture hopefully we will discuss the question answers and with that we will come to the final end of this chapter so until then keep studying and take care of yourselves thank you and see you